Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah, and in today's video, my husband and I are going to be building some stairs for our dogs that go up to our bed. So if you're interested to see how you could do this yourself, just stay tuned. So before we get into the clips of us actually building the stairs, I want to introduce you to our dog, Gracie, if you are new here. She is about 11 or 12 year old, I hate admitting that, uh, rescue, that's why we're not really sure how old she is. But we have noticed over the past few months, she's been having a hard time getting up on our bed. Our bed is pretty high up off the ground. So we decided it was time to build her some stairs because we really need to preserve her legs long and low. So we also want to preserve her back as well. Now, before we get into the clips of us building the stairs, I just want to say this is a quick afternoon project. We are not professionals, but if you're looking to build some dog stairs yourself, this is gonna be super easy to follow and they do the trick in the end and Gracie has been using them. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's just get straight into the video. Now to start off, to figure out the rise and run of each stair we wanted, my husband used dex.com and just put in the height of the stairs and how many stairs we wanted. And then it spits out a conversion of how to measure your wood and how the rise and run will work out for the height. So that's super slick. Right now he's just using a carpenter's square to measure out the rise and the run, mark it on the wood, and then we'll cut it out. He is now using a skill saw to cut where all of his lines are. Later on, we're going to go in with a jigsaw to clean up all the quarters, but you will see that in a little bit. I also wanted to mention that this project actually ended up costing us nothing. This is just spare wood we had left over from other projects and the carpet that we use on the stairs later on in the video, whoever owned our house before us actually left us a bunch of carpet. So we've been using it for random projects, but yeah, super awesome that this cost us nothing. But my husband did want me to mention that if you wanted these stairs to look even better, you could get nicer wood and stain it at the end and maybe spend a little bit more money. Instead of having to re-measure the rise and run on the other piece of wood, he's just placing his cut one on this new piece of wood and tracing it to get the exact rise and run. And once again, he's just gonna cut her out with a skill saw. Now he is going in, like I mentioned, with a jigsaw just to clean up all of the corners that the stairs will actually sit in. This is because the skill saw has a round blade, but the jigsaw has just a straight blade so you can get a lot sharper corners with it. Right now he is measuring out the actual um, stairs itself. We just decided how wide we wanted the stairs to be based on how much room we wanted to take up in our bedroom and also how big our dogs are. So this is me trying to set them down while also filming. So this is all the leftover carpet I was talking about. And in a second, I'm going to attempt to cut them down to size so they can be wrapped around the stairs. But as you can see, I try like three or four different snips to get through it. And then my husband just comes over and cuts it super easy with an X-Acto knife and a level. So pro tip, just cut it that way from the beginning. Save yourself the stress. So right now, Corey is using his drill press to create some holes so we can attach the steps 
and so the wood doesn't split. This is because we're going to be attaching them so close to the edge, you want to avoid that wood splitting. And if you don't have a drill press, you can do the exact same thing with just pre-drilling some holes with a hand drill. Just doing a quick sanding with um, a random orbital sander to smooth everything out. Of course, you could also do this by hand with just normal sandpaper. Now we are attaching the carpet to the steps with a staple gun. I don't know if you can tell from these clips, but I was kind of struggling with this. I was getting so frustrated. Corey had to come over and help me for whatever reason. The staples weren't going in for me, but yeah. Now we are screwing the steps to the sides here. I was making fun of Corey because he <laughs> was too lazy to go to his work van to go get his drill to do this. But he said looking back that screwing them in by hand, it might actually help the wood from splitting once again, even though we pre-drilled those holes. So it might, might have been good that he was lazy and just did this by hand, but I just kept making fun of him that everybody was going to make fun of him in the comments for not just going to get his drill. So he's just screwing this in, in those holes that we pre-drilled. And then later on, I'm actually going to go down and tack the carpet a little bit better on the sides. It looks kind of like janky right now. This actually isn't the first set of stairs that we've made for our dogs. I'm going to link down below and in the eye um, a video I made about dog bunk beds we made out of an old wooden TV and stairs so they have a lookout perch. So if you're enjoying this video, you might enjoy that video as well. And we actually made the stairs for that project a little bit differently. Now we are figuring out the legs and screwing them to the stairs right now. In a second, you'll see a better angle of what he's screwing into. But once again, doing this by hand. <laughs> Okay, so Corey measured out two supports to go in between these legs just to keep it super sturdy when these dogs run up and down the stairs. So he's putting one on the bottom here and then in a second you'll see him tap one up towards the middle just to keep everything super sturdy and secure. So here are the stairs all done. I actually ended up going over the edges of the carpet with some scissors just to clean up the loose ends, but you could cover the sides of each step with carpet, or like mentioned before, you could stain the wood as well, all one color. We ended up just keeping it how it is. We don't mind how it looks. And something else I wanted to mention is that we ended up just propping these stairs up against our bed. You'll see in the last few clips, they are super sturdy for our dogs. But if you're making these on a bigger scale, maybe for your bigger pup, 
An option is to attach it to your bed frame and then it would be super sturdy. But I have to say both of our dogs have been using these stairs and it's awesome just seeing Gracie not struggle getting on and off our bed. Okay, let's see Gracie struggle before getting on the bed. And now her after using the stairs. Honestly, love seeing her not struggle so much with her poor little legs. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below as I upload new videos every single week. Thanks guys. See you next time.